Well, some good news coming in this morning. The Kolebu Teaching Hospital has announced the resumption of elective surgeries following the completion of work on its faulty elevator. Management of the hospital in an interview with TV3 says most of the faulty elevators would be replaced with new ones by the first quarter of 2025. On average, the hospital performs close to 10 elective surgeries in a day, and so the suspension meant there are close to 100 patients awaiting recall for their scheduled surgeries. The development sparked reaction from the general public, considering the fact that the issue of 40 elevators at the hospital remain unresolved. Our checks at the department revealed the elevator is currently working. Information has gone around to all the surgeons and then the other professionals that the lift has been fixed. So uh, we will reach out to the patients and then tell them the new schedules that we have for them. The hospital says by first quarter of next year, all outdated lifts will be replaced. When we finish with that, they will move on to the second one. And then we'll do that throughout the hospital so that uh, uh, in no time we'll have all the lifts replaced. Earlier, the ranking member on the health committee was at a unit unannounced to inspect the elevator but was denied access by some staff questioning his identity. I think the people didn't know who he was. After the incident we met him and then we uh, pleaded that anytime he's coming, even if it's a surprise, he should notify the administration so that we can accord him the necessary courtesies.